Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm going to cover old dog vestibular disease. I'll cover what you as a pet owner are seeing at home, what I as a veterinarian will do to help diagnose, help treat it, and help your dog feel better, and what you're going to expect long term from your doggy. Little spoiler, most dogs with vestibular disease recover and do just fine. Vestibular disease is the nerves in the middle ear just like me and you, God made us all pretty similar, the nerves in the middle ear aren't working right. Either you have inflammation, you have infection, and sometimes we don't even know why, but they stop doing their job. So a pet owner is going to notice their doggy is going to be have a head tilt, maybe they are stumbling or ataxic, they're walking all over the place. Sometimes they're so bad guys that like the dog will roll on the ground and they can't get back up and right themselves. And Probably one of the nicest things I look for to really, you know, focus me in is they'll have an eye condition called a nystagmus. Nystagmus means the eyes are going to be bouncing back and forth. So if you look at your doggy and they're having all these symptoms and their eyes are bouncing back and forth too, there's a good chance they have vestibular disease. So now that we know that it's an inner ear problem, the nerves in the inner ear aren't working right, and it's causing you know, a balance issue. So you should think of it like the middle ear keeps everything level. And if they're not working right, everything gets unlevel. So now the dog's trying to right the ship, trying to walk normally, look around normally, not look abnormal, and they're failing horribly because they can't figure out where they are in relation to the ground or the table in front of them. It's just super, super challenging. A veterinarian is going to pull some blood, and they're going to make sure your doggy is healthy. Basically, they don't want to miss anything, guys. I mean, that's the worst thing ever to miss something. So pulling some blood is going to allow us to do a diagnosis from exclusion. We're going to rule out other problems and be like, man, it's none of these major issues. It's probably vestibular disease. Of course, doing additional imaging or seeing a specialist could be helpful, but you make it the same answer. It's just an unknown vestibular disease. If that comes back normal, as a general practitioner, I'm going to try to treat vestibular disease with medications. So I may give an anti-nausea injection or anti-nausea pill to kind of, you know, help with that nausea we're feeling from the vertigo. I may also do an antibiotic just in case we have an inner ear infection. Remember, we said we don't know what's causing this. So it could be an infection in the inner ear as well. Sometimes veterinarians will pick something for inflammation because if the inner ear is inflamed and causing our problem, we want to address that too. So it may include maybe an anti-inflammatory, like a non-steroidal, or even a steroid in some situations, if the veterinarian thinks it's the right option. If the doggy hasn't been drinking much water and you know they've been really nauseous, we may even hydrate with some fluids. And that may be sub-Q or under the skin, or it may be an IV catheter. Sometimes fluids and hydrating can go really far to helping the doggy feel a lot better. All these things can be super helpful and, and help the doggy feel way better. But the thing is, like, the most important thing, guys, is time. Like, we got to have some time pass. And as time passes, the inner ear problems become more controlled by the doggy. And the dog's able to adjust to them. So a lot of dogs, the great news is, with vestibular disease, do quite well you know, improve significantly and go on to live very, very, very normal lives. Of course, always go see your veterinarian because other things like seizures or strokes can also present like this. But vestibular disease is going to be one of those things where the dog is, appears to be in good health, good blood work. Just overall, we're really nauseous and have some vertigo.